Boxing King Media and Association with Box Draw. Masood Abdullah, another knockout. Just explain to me, where does that power come from? I have no idea. I don't think, I don't think that should have been a knockout. I think, I think it was good to continue, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much power. I think most of the opponents I had was good to continue. And that's it. I, I spoke to a few people about you before, and one of the things that always sticks out to me is there's not many guys at the lower weights that are knocking people out continuously and hurting them. And you've proven that in six fights, you're doing it every fight. So how do you feel about that? I mean, it feels good. The last guy got away. I think if I had an extra extra minute, I could have taken him out. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, one person got away. I missed you that day, but that fight in particular, you fought a guy that was a very good amateur. So you got a solid eight rounds of it. Obviously, you've gone back down in class today. So did you feel that in the ring? I mean, um, this was a short notice. Um, I felt rusty. I didn't feel as sharp, but I feel like it was a good learning, learning fight for me. I stepped up and just went through the gears, I guess. I heard you tell somebody that you're fat. I think you said fat shit. Well, why is that? <laughs> oh, I love to eat. I mean, uh, I eat like crazy. Uh, yeah, just, just love my desserts, love my foods, but yeah. So you've had six fights, you obviously got eight rounds last time. What, what is the plan for yourself now? Are you continuously going to look for another that type of fight or do you want to kind of step into like some sort of title contention? Uh, I want to step up in opponents. I want another eight, ten rounder and then I want to go for a title fight after that. So my, my plan and objective is next fight, go down in weight again because I came up two weight divisions for this fight. Uh, fight either at Super Bantam or Featherweight, test the weight out and then the fight after that, go for a title. Is it what kind of title? Talking English title? I mean, whatever's there. For me, it's just like whatever I can get, whatever my team agrees to, and then just progress forward from there. I think the English title at like Feather, you've got uh, Amin Janzib and Reese Bellotti fighting each other next month. Could the winner of that, you fancy that? I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Because for me, it's just I need one more learning fight and then see which way I'm going to go to, either Super Bad or Featherweight. But um, I think someone mentioned Jelly's Beach Junior, but again, I don't want to call out anyone because, you know, I'm a nobody. Let's be 100% honest. I need to earn my spot before I can call somebody out. Don't downgrade yourself, man, because it's not easy knocking guys out and you're doing it continuously. Just want to finish up on your heritage. You obviously got Afghan heritage and people that know the Afghan heritage, you guys are naturally strong, naturally powerful. Is that where it comes from? I think so. I mean, I'm not too sure. Hard to, hard to, hard to make an assessment because... Um, only one other person boxed in my family and that was my young brother, an amazing, amazing boxer. He's just, he's more of a classier fighter. But yeah, I wish I was like him. Any last message before I let you go? Uh, I want to say big thank you to everybody that came out to support. Big thank you to all of the messages I got. It means a hell of a lot, especially at such a short notice. And yeah, that's it. Masood, well done. I look forward to seeing where your journey goes because I think you're an exciting fighter. Okay, thank you so much, sir.